For at TV, the world is thinking. There are two historical episodes um, that I think are misleading Republicans right now. One is the post-Watergate Nadir and Republican fortunes when Republicans were doing so poorly that uh, uh, an RNC chairman was actually starting up a task force to figure out whether they should come up with a new name for the Republican Party. And then the other being after 1992 when um, the first President Bush, having won with 54% of the vote in 1988, collapsed to 38% of the vote in 1992, which is a really remarkable collapse within a four-year period. And you worked on that campaign. Very briefly. I did not stress that on the resume, but yes, I was... Uh, I, you I, cost them at least a million or two votes, I, I was in the, uh, the issues, office, issues office of the Bush 92 campaign, which meant that I had a lot of spare time. Um, the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, but, but in both cases, the thing that's, that um, I think is misleading Republicans now is that in both the late 1970s and the early 1990s, the path back to um, a Republican revival was um, to move right. Uh, and you saw, you know, moving from the Nixon-Ford um, administration, which was, you know, which was sort of the Great Society plus actual funding streams for these new programs and a host of new regulatory initiatives. You know, that's where when the EPA and OSHA start up. That's when affirmative action gets started. Um, and then to, uh, to Reagan, which obviously is a much more sort of ideological and conservative um, pro program. And then in 1992, after the, um, the disappointments for conservatives of the first Bush administration, notably the tax increase of 1990, you have the Gingrich um, sort of uh, the Gingrich revolt beginning in the Bush administration where Gingrich doesn't vote for that tax increase and organizes the opposition to it and he becomes the, the head of the Republican Party. And I think that that, the, that historical experience has led Republicans to believe that they simply need to do the same thing. They just simply need to uh, uh, go, go back to the path of conservative principle and that in itself will bring them back to power. I'm not sure that that in itself actually was the key in the late 1970s, but it, I also think this is a very different situation right now.